What I'll lose sleep over is the fact that there's even a question that I would do something this disgusting and repulsive. Cape Coral High School grad turned NFL star Nate Allen denying all allegations after being detained by police last night in Fort Myers. Allen telling Four in Your Corner that a teenage girl claims he was masturbating at a stoplight and motioning toward her. He was released last night and no charges have been filed, but Fort Myers police and the state attorney's office, office rather, continue to investigate this case. Nate Allen sitting down with Four in Your Corner's Tara Molina to tell his side of the story. Tara? Patrick, Nate Allen tells me he spent five hours in a holding cell last night and he didn't even know what he was brought in for. Now that he knows, he says he's upset and absolutely disgusted. He wants to make sure that you know his side of the story. And to have this conversation yeah. and talk about this and disgust me. Disgusted, but sitting down with me to talk about the allegations against him. I don't have anything to hide. Allen says he was driving home on 41 Wednesday when he saw a cop pull up behind him. He thought it was over a seatbelt or his cell phone. So what the officer told him was shocking. Well, that girl you made a pass at back there, she was 16 years old. What? He says he was in disbelief. When this first all went down, I'm sitting there thinking, this is a joke. Somebody, one of my buddies in the police department is joking. But it was far from a joke. He says the girl positively identified him, and he spent about five hours in jail. He didn't know the details until he was released. I got accused of, on Cleveland Avenue, at that red light where it turns to go to Colonial, of masturbating in my truck in broad daylight and exposing myself to this 16-year-old girl. I reached out to the Fort Myers Police Department, which says the Nate Allen investigation remains active and he's not been charged with a crime. I told him, please keep investigating this. Allen denies all allegations. This is the type of stuff that comes from being idolized. If you would have told me five years ago when I first got into the league that this was going to happen, I wouldn't have done it. Because he says being accused of something like this is bigger than football, and it just isn't worth it. And he has something to share with those accusing him. I hope they watch this because I want them to know I forgive them for what they've tried to do. What they've tried to do to me, my family, I forgive them. Allen has already spoken to Eagles head coach Chip Kelly and owner Jeffrey Lurie. He says the team's behind him. Again, the case remains under investigation. Live in the studio, Tara Molina, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Tara. Well